crimes in Chittenden County makes for a busy day in court. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. Stephanie's off. A quick word before we get too far into the story. Some of the details may not be suitable for your little ones if they're in the room right now. Michael Norton is being charged with lewd and lascivious conduct after an incident at U-Mall. Norton is the same guy who was stabbed in the neck by another defendant during an earlier courthouse appearance this week. WPTZ's Vanessa Mashanya is just back from court with details on the collision of two unusual cases. Vanessa. Well, thanks, George. Again, this case does have some sensitive subject matter that you may not want your kids to hear. But on Monday, we reported that a detainee was stabbed in the neck by another detainee at the courthouse. And as we were told today by the Chittenden County State's Attorney, the victim of the stabbing was Michael Norton. Now, Norton faces some legal issues his, of his own. Michael Norton was in front of a judge this week for the second time. This time, he pled not guilty to lewd and lascivious conduct after police say he was engaged in such behavior inside of the University Mall in South Burlington. Court papers reveal it happened just before 5.30 Tuesday night inside of a corridor in the mall between Coles and Applebee's where there is a crowded sitting area. The police report states that there was a family with one small child in the area when Norton exposed and started touching himself. State's attorney T.J. Donovan says Norton has been charged with such conduct before. And in this alleged incident, he violated a court order to stay 500 feet away from schools or any place where children are. He's a gentleman who we have frequent contact with uh, in the criminal justice system. In fact, just a few days before Wednesday's court appearance, prosecutors tell us Norton was in court on Monday facing similar charges. On Monday, while waiting to appear before a judge at the courthouse, Norton was attacked and stabbed in the neck by another man using a pen. That man, according to police, was 21-year-old Chad Brown. Norton was treated for his injuries and later in the week, police tell us, ended up at U-Mall and once again in front of a judge. I don't think the injuries were uh, all that serious or life-threatening. Unfortunately, uh, he was back out in the community doing the same stuff. 